Hey, thanks for coming back to the Foothill Scale Slot Car page. I bought a new slot car. You know, that's always fun and exciting. I'm pretty sure I've only got one chance to do this unboxing correct. Packing peanuts. Literature. Look at that it's a slot at Alfa Romeo DTM car. We'll check it out here in just a little bit. All right, let's uh, get this out of the shrink wrap in the box. As I said, you know, you only get a couple times to get this done right. Ooh, get a whiff of that new car smell. Looks pretty good. Doesn't look to have too many parts that's going to break off. Maybe that wing. That's probably going to be gone the first race. Underneath, got some spare parts. Hopefully there's a spare wing there. Looks like there's some uh, wheel inserts. So these models are always uh, modeled after a car that was raced in a specific event at a specific time. This particular uh, one was uh, from 1995, uh, the DTM series. Now, uh, more importantly, it was raced at the Avis Ring. The Avis Ring uh, is located in Berlin. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be there, well, quite some time ago. And uh, as far as racetracks go, it might be one that could be considered just mental. It uh, basically is a race course set up on a stretch of uh, the Autobahn. Um, you run so flat out, straight away, for so many kilometers, make a U-turn, and head straight back. Now, the uh, north end of the curve... Uh, the north end of the track used to have a curve that was banked. Uh, after a certain time, they no longer used it. That was primarily used uh, during the uh, pre-World War II days. But uh, as I said, it was banked. If you're familiar with Daytona, it's banked at like 31 degrees. And uh, if you've seen uh, Daytona, banked pretty steep. If you've ever been there, you just cannot believe the banking. Well... The north curve on the Avis is banked at 43 degrees, just shy of 45 degrees, half of 90 degrees, which is vertical. That's insane. It's mental. Uh, but it's just quite some spectacular race course. Something else. Let's get this off the base real quick. Shouldn't be too hard. Well, aha. I was making it more simple. Sorry. I was making it more difficult than it actually was. Inline configuration. Probably their standard 9 tooth by 27. Nice thing with the slotted car, you always get these uh, wonderful aluminum wheels with inserts. Car feels really light. 
I've gone ahead and removed the screws. Let's take a look beneath the body here. Looks like two screws to mount the body onto the chassis, one in the front, one in the back. Inline motor, black can. So that's pretty much it. You just uh, take one out of a box, open up the package, look it over. Looks like most all the other slot cars, slot it brand, uh, seem to be a little bit better than your uh, run of the mill cars. Uh, looking forward to putting it on the track. Uh, I think uh, I'm probably going to put a digital chip and some lights front and rear. Other than that, I think we're going to give it a go. I sure like that Marti Martini. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but hey, I painted the colors on the the uh, the garage wall back there. Most of my martini liveried slot cars are of the uh, Porsche model, but uh, we'll just have to start out with this Italian version. I think it's going to fit in real good. As, as I said, looking forward to getting it on the track soon. Hey, if you have anything you'd like to say about the video content, just uh, leave a comment down below. Appreciate to hear what you're thinking.